know how it works in the big movies, and you have like DP, you have uh, special f visual effects of so, so supervisor and whole structure. In independent movies, how it works? Are you as director of photography involved in special effects? What you're doing with them, or yeah. they coordinate with you? How it works now? Well, for me, whether it's a big movie or a small movie, I always try and be very involved in the visual effects right from the beginning, with the director and whoever is going to be doing the effects. And on smaller films, they're not necessarily on set all the time. Whereas on, as you say, on, on big movies, they're there all the time. Um, so I have to be more responsible for giving them the, what they need for their work at the end. And um, for instance, I did a film called Tracks where we didn't really plan any visual effects, but by the end there was about 20 shots, you know, of things that came up as we were shooting. But I always try and be very involved because I don't want um, the visual effects to look wrong or stand out or not work with my cinematography. When you work with a special effect crew, are you using any previous technology just to, to work out your mutual visual language mm -hmm. or it's virtual cinematography? What kind of effects now in, in your particular case with your films are most often used in, uh, in, in, in production? Well, for a big movie like Australia that I did, we had some scenes that were pre-visualised and um, also had concept art and storyboards right from the beginning um, that I was very involved in with the director again, as I say, because uh, a lot of those pre-visualisations are setting the look of that scene before you even go into production. So I wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page. Whereas one, we did uh, storyboards on a film, I just did Truth. We had storyboards that we'd work out, what we had blue screenshots, um, what they would be. But sometimes it's all it's just discussed early on and not boarded or, or worked out in any particular way. In our school is we're teaching so-called expanded cinematography. We, mm -hmm. we can see that future cinematography depends from two factors, or basically even, I would say, surviving of the pro uh, profession. Mm -hmm. One is to make it more artistic statement, use all technology, mm -hmm. from other to side, to know new technology as much as possible. So we call yeah. it expanded cinematography. Mm -hmm. It is it correlates with your observation, what we're doing, yeah, or you have different point of view on it? I, I agree with you. I think the best cinematographers are ones that glean from history and, and uh, look at what great cinematographers have done in the past. But there's always new things going on and there's always new technology. And for me, Number one, I'm an artist, and number two, a technician. And so the way that I approach it is if I, I have the idea first, rather than I see a bit of equipment and say, well, I'm going to use that, you know, I'm going to work out a shot that I can use that on. I would look at, you know, the, a, a particular um, scenario that I want to have in a movie or a commercial, and then I work out the tools to make that happen. So I, it's then when I start looking into all the new equipment and things. But but first of all, I start from art, and whether it's learning stuff from other films and how other people have approached things or um, images images that they've created is where I start. So how you see what direction cinematography will will go? Because now yeah. cinematography is art became very mature art mm -hmm. and we have different di direction and different mm -hmm. branches and different mm -hmm. schools. But in general, mm -hmm. what, what do you think will help cinematography to go forward, mm -hmm. to make next step? What do you think what, what it would be or could be? I think the most important thing is to be able to hold on to the status of director of photography because as I was saying, a lot of movies have um, visual effects and a lot of visual effects happen at the end when you're finished on the movie. So to be able to keep a consistency of a visual language and style of a movie is a challenge for us now. You know, for instance, film like Gravity where Chivo was there for the whole way and involved in the post-production, involved with the visual effects and the background plates and he also did a lot on those LED screens, so a lot of the backgrounds were already in camera. 
Um, I think it's very important to be able to be there for the whole thing and, and to keep the consistency because I've, me and I'm sure a lot of other people have been in situations where it's gone into post-production and somebody's taken the scene or the whatever they're doing into another direction and changed the look of the film.